David and Louise Turpin abused their 13 children for years, until one daughter managed to escape and alert police in January 2018. Our parents are abusing. They abuse us. If you were to look at David and Louise's Facebook page, the whole Turpin brood on a trip to Disneyland, posing for pictures looking like any other family. You'd see multiple family photos that suggested their children lived a happy life. But that couldn't be further from the truth. Early on January 14th, Jordan, just 17, crawled out of the bedroom window of their Paris, California home, and ran away into the dark. Using an inactive mobile phone, which only allowed her to make emergency calls, she phoned 911. She told the operator, she needed help rescuing her brothers and sisters, but she had trouble communicating her address or any nearby landmark. When a police officer arrived, he found a malnourished-looking Jordan who appeared far younger than her 17 years. What's going on? Okay. I just ran away from home. Okay. And I live in a family of 15. Okay. My two little sisters right now are chained up. They're chained up? Yes. Where are they chained up at? On their bed. She showed him proof of her claims, a photo of her siblings chained to their beds. I called because my two little sisters are chained up right now. Do you have pictures of that? Yes, I can show you. Within a couple of hours, deputies of the Riverside County Sheriff's Department raided the house. Louise and David looked shocked to find the police on their doorstep. They found 12 children including three who had been shackled to their beds. The children had bruises on their arms, and the children were so malnourished, they looked like they were all under 18 years old. The eldest, Jennifer, was 29. She weighed just 37 kilograms. An 11-year-old had an arm circumference equivalent to that of a four-month-old baby. They described being beaten, starved, and put in cages. The children spent most of their time locked in their room. They had been confined to the house of horrors chained to furniture, starved, and often deprived of the use of a toilet. Investigators concluded that the couple's youngest child, a toddler, was the only one who was not abused. They were fed only once a day, allowed to shower just once a year, and were deprived of toys and games. The parents had starved them to the point that they stopped growing and suffered from muscle shrinkage. The kids lived on bologna and peanut butter sandwiches while their parents ate takeout, according to People. While the parents ate well, they cruelly tormented their starving kids by leaving apple and pumpkin pies on the kitchen counter, but not letting them have any, they had to sleep during the day, and were active for only a few hours at night. The Turpins imprisoned the children in a house that appeared neatly kept outside, but festered with filth and reeked of human waste. After they were removed by cops, more than $500,000 in donations were raised by local groups for their care. The funds helped provide medical and dental care, educational assistance, and other services for the abused siblings. In February 2019, both parents pleaded guilty to 14 felony counts including cruelty to a dependent adult, child cruelty, torture, and false imprisonment. As a result, they were sentenced to 25 years to life in prison with the possibility of parole in 22 years.